and welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today's video is on how to draw a bore model. A lot of times chemistry teachers like uh, kids to draw bore models because it helps them when you start to do the bonding and it helps them get a good idea of the energy levels and where the electrons go. And so today I'm going to teach you the easiest way that I know how to, how to do a bore model. Um, first of all, you have to use a periodic table. You have to find your element on the periodic table for a number of reasons. First of all, one of the reasons is because you're going to be able to use a periodic table to figure out how many electrons something has. And if it's an electrically neutral atom, it's going to be exactly the same as the atomic number. So that's the number of protons. Um, second, or third, rather, you're going to find what row, what row your, uh, your element is in. That's going to tell you how many energy levels it uses. So if it's in row three, you're going to put in three energy levels. If it's in row one, you're going to put in one. If it's in row four, you're going to put in four, etc. So that's important stuff, and you can get that off the periodic table. It makes things a lot easier for you. Again, elements in period one have one energy level, period two have two energy levels. So what I did was I did carbon as an example, and the first thing you're going to do once you have all of your data is you're going to draw the nucleus, including the number of protons and neutrons. So the black here is my um, nucleus. In carbon I have six protons and six neutrons. So I put those in the center, and then empty shells around. Now, when I look at the periodic table, I see, see that carbon is in that second row, second period. So I drew two blue energy levels, or two shells, that I'm going to put the electrons in. And now I simply put the electrons in. Now some teachers want you to separate these out, one here and one here. Those four would go in the four quadrants, if you will. Um, personally, I don't care. You can put them all together for me. I just want you to know what, that they're in a specific energy level. So I know there are six electrons, because carbon is electrically neutral, the carbon atom. Six protons, six electrons. Um, I know that uh, the first shell can only hold two, and the second shell can hold up to eight. Now, I've already put two in here of my six, which means I have four left. If I have four left, those four go in here, and I'm done. The third shell, I just want you to know, can hold up to 18, but not. it doesn't always hold 18, and I'll, I'll give you an example of that in just a minute. But the third shell can hold up to 18. Let's do another example. Let's do uh, hydrogen. Um, one proton, no neutrons, one electron. There's my nucleus, one proton one, uh, and zero neutrons. Since it's in row one, I put one circle around it. One electron, it goes right there. And then I always like to write the name of the element just so that my teacher knows that I know what I'm talking about. Here's another example, oxygen off the periodic table. I know that oxygen has eight pr protons eight neutrons and eight electrons, and then it's in row two. So I can draw my nucleus with eight and eight, and I'm going to put two little circles around it for my shells or my energy levels because I know it's in row two. The first one, the one closest in, can only hold two electrons. Eight minus two is six, so I have six left to place somewhere, and they're going to go on the next energy level, six electrons in the, the next energy level. So I have two plus six equals eight. It's oxygen. I'm good. But this is the one I wanted to show you because of that third energy level not taking 18. It's potassium K, which is 19 protons, 20 neutrons, and 19 electrons. It's in row 4, which tells me I need four energy levels. So 19 and 20, there's my nucleus, 1, 2, 3, 4 energy levels. The first one has 2, the second one has 8, those are given, can't fit any more in there. So I'm up to 10 now, I have 19 left to place, but it's four energy levels. And so what I know is a lot of times this third energy level is going to only take eight electrons. It's not going to go all the way up to 18 yet. It takes eight, and the outer level takes one, has one. Okay, so the way you know that is you're in row four, so you have four, two, eight, 18. But the magic number in chemistry, you remember, is eight. And so it's going to take the eight and bump, bump the one up to there. And again, I wrote the name of the element. It's potassium. Best way to do more bore models, just practice, practice, practice. You'll get really good at it. They're not very difficult.